A fun alternate use of Colorama is as a color cycling effect. In this case, I have a simple gradient mapped from black to white. Simple grayscale mapping. You may remember from the first movie this phase shift parameter, which basically offsets the input black to white range and how it's mapped to the output cycle. And as I start scrolling it, you start seeing this edge of this black to white transition as it happens at some middle gray point in the underlying layer. Mm, kind of interesting, but not really. Well, the secret for color cycling to work is that the color mapped to black must match the color mapped to white. This way, the transition from black to white on the input side will be seamless and you'll get a nice gradient moving through this image. For example, if I take this white slider and pull it down here to the middle, so we go from black to white and back to black again, we will now have a smooth set of gradients mapped to this image. And as I start scrubbing the phase shift parameter, you no longer see that harsh edge as we went from black to white. Instead, you see a nice, smooth, endlessly cycling range of colors going through the underlying image. I'll undo. Once you know that, you'll see the logic behind many of the preset palette colors. A lot of these colors, such as say, golden, indeed have the same color mapped to black and white. And that way when you do a phase shift, you get a really nice endless cycle of colors going through your gradients. There's many other cool presets such as copper. Notice again that the black and white colors are the same. Rusty, again, black and white colors are the same. I'll go back to golden one for now. This is one of my favorites. Now what I've done is I've set up some keyframes where phase shift goes from zero to minus one revolution. And here's an important point. If I hit the end key, the last frame of my composition is one second and 29 frames. I don't want to set a keyframe at that time. If I do so, I will have a hitch as basically this last frame and then the first frame is repeated. Instead, whenever you're setting up something that's looping, you need to go one frame beyond the end of your composition, press page down to get there, set your identical keyframe there, and now it will seamlessly map back onto the starting keyframe at the start of your composition. Let's go ahead and queue up a quick RAM preview. And now you'll see as I preview, I've got an endlessly looping color cycle running through this original gradient. And I can have fun. For example, these are some gradients I got from the Pixel Lion collection. And there's other ones such as fairy stripes, foggy patterns, just give endless psychedelia, drippy, which will move down the screen continuously. Color cycling was indeed one of the original reasons a Colorama was developed by Atomic Power, the plugin company that originally made it. And it is a fun use for it, although you frankly don't see it much in television these days. Me, I prefer the tinting powers of Colorama, and that's what I focus on when using this effect.